can have this shot. Watch it! I'm only having this shot. Oh, 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 my girl was like... All right, guys, what you just saw was a little bit of motion blur that I did in Vegas and a slide transition that you can also do in Vegas. Um, that's mainly only in After Effects, but there's a way you can do it in Vegas. And you guys might tell, but I'm like really sick, so let's hurry up and do this tutorial. Let's first open Sony Vegas. You want to put in a clip. And then you want to put in another clip like that. And then you want to make a new video track. You guys can deal with the quality, but I don't want to do that. Now you're going to take the second clip that you put and put the video above it and the audio right there. Now you want to drag it over here. Now if you do it right here, then the slide transition will be really slow. So if you want to do it fast, just make it as small as possible. Like that so we can zoom in and see. So let's try it right there. So you want to split this clip and split this clip so now they're both together like this and that you can move this one. So you want to go to the video pan slash crop on the first one and you want to go all the way to the... No, don't go all the way to the end, sorry. You want to click on this and whatever way you want to do it, just move it that way. So let's put it to the right. So, all you have to do is click on it and then move the arrow key to the right. <laughs> Not that hard. It's taking forever. I'm holding it down too. Alright, and then it's almost done. So once it's... You can either put it there, but I like to move it up to the black bar. Right there. And now what you want to do is you want to take it all the way to the bottom the last part, the end, and then you want to right click on it and cl click restore, and so it works. And then for the second clip, below the first one, you want to go to the event slime patch crop thing, and you want to go to the end, and you want to move this one all the way to the left. So if you want to do it the opposite way, you'd move the top one to the left, and this one to the right, but my way, the top one's to the right, and the bottom one's to the left, so let's move it over here. Oh. I'm in bed. I've been in bed for like two days. <laughs> Miss school. All right, so now it's over there to the black bar, and now you can exit out. All right, so we can now see that we have the slide transition, and it worked pretty good that time, better than my other time. So I'll go slowly. All right. So you can see that there is the transition like in After Effects. Now if you want to move it up, same thing, you just move the first one up and the bottom one to the down place, so that's about it. That's for the first tutorial, now the second tutorial is how to get like motion blur on your video. So what that means is if you're like moving, like if you move your screen then it will blur. And so. Yeah, you don't really have to use it. I don't think it looks that great, but you know, never know. So what you want to do is you want to push Control Shift B. So Control Shift B will get this thing. It is called. Hold on, let me find it. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember what it's called, but. Alright, the video bus track, con control shift B, or you can just go to view and then go down the video bus track, so you'll have this, and now you want to right click on it and go to insert remove envelope thing, and you want to put motion blur amount, now you'll see this little purple bar, now you can move it up, the last one that I did I just used three, so it has a bit of motion blur, right there, but other people will use like ten, and a 10 is good if you want to do a transition, but I use 3. I don't really use it that much. I probably will never ever use it again, but you guys might. 
And then you guys can like add points, so you can right click on it and add a point and bring it up like to there. Add another point, and then you can bring it down. So it has motion blur and it just keeps increases and then gets to the point where you want to stop the motion blur and then it'll decrease if you want to. Or you can move this one and put it increase it more. Whatever you guys feel like doing. I hate motion blur. I don't think it's useful at all. But you guys might like it, so that's why I'm making this tutorial. So just let me get rid of that. Alright. So that was two tutorials for you today in so Vegas. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I guess my next tutorial will be a particle world, but I'm not gonna do it today because I am really sick and I don't feel like doing it today. And it's like snowing, but it looks horrible. I can do it in AAE, it works a lot better, but for the snow effect, that will be later in Sony Vegas. It's bad, but you know, it's alright. Well, that was Kool Aid here for another tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed so peace out see you next time